have new details tonight on a high speed chase on I-95 that went through three counties and ended with the arrest of an armed Brevard County man. Highway Patrol troopers say that pursuit started in St. John's County with a reckless speeding driver. Where she's Claire Metz reports it ended in Volusia County with Sheriff Mike Chitwood coincidentally on I-95 jumping in. This went on for over 100 miles. You know, and the guy was all over the roadway. 22 year old Seth Potter of Merritt Island went before a judge on a host of charges, including reckless driving, fleeing and eluding, grand theft, and aggravated assault on a law enforcement officer. Potter allegedly stole a truck and gun in Jacksonville, then sped south on I 95. Florida Highway Patrol troopers got behind the suspect in St. Johns County, followed him into Flagler, then Volusia County. Oh my God, I'm at 44 and 95. Let me just shoot over and get into the southbound lane. Sheriff Mike Chitwood was a guest live on a radio show when the chase came into his jurisdiction and he jumped in. According to the report, suspect Potter was doing over 100 miles an hour for much of the pursuit. And as Edgewater police threw stop sticks, the sheriff says he saw the suspect drive right at an officer. He goes right across all the lanes of traffic and makes a beeline for the Edgewater officer who's throwing, going to throw stop sticks. Troopers first tried to stop the suspect in St. John's County because they say he was erratically driving a pickup with no license plate on the highway. They didn't know then the truck was reported stolen or that the suspect might be armed. Investigators say Potter refused to stop for multiple officers in multiple jurisdictions. <laughs> A successful stop stick hit ended things near 442 in Edgewater. Suspect Potter was arrested. I'll find probable cause for that offense. Potter said nothing in court as a judge set bond at $52,500. How nobody in this 100 mile pursuit got hurt is what is, you know, God was really good. Nobody got hurt. Claire Metz, West 2 News. Now, Potter was additionally charged with resisting arrest when officials say he briefly refused commands, even when surrounded, and then officials say he tried to pull his hands away as they attempted to handcuff him.